and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about swollen, painful ankles and how to fix them at home. That's right, Bob. Ankle pain, uh, whether it's a sprain or just swollen up ankles, we'll talk about some reasons. Very common. Uh, you can do some things about it at home uh, and help get them better without a lot of effort. I just had a friend this weekend. Unfortunately, we all joined the 60 Club. I heard about yeah, that. And yeah. uh, he complains of painful, uh, not a uh, swollen ankle on one side. Oh, I'm okay. Like, He's got to get that checked out. Yeah. Right, so. and there is a time for that. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, actually, we'll do a giveaway at the end oh, of the video. Oh, yes. At the end of the video. Yep, you okay. you got to stick around. Yeah, stick around. It's going to be a nice giveaway, too. Uh, for As far as this goes, you know, I'm really into this right now because my mother's dealing with swollen ankles. Uh, so uh, you'll see some, some things that I'm working with her on. So uh, do we have a di diagnosis for her? Yeah, she uh, she just has lymphedema. It's you know she's got some congestive heart failure sure. and basically the aging process. Nothing serious sure. is going on. It's just a management issue. We'll get into that near the end of the or the second half of the video. Sure. If you're tuning in for this and you just sprained your ankle and your ankle's swollen up as a result of trauma, ankle sprain or uh, something fell on it, whatever. Uh, you can do some compression. What you're going to need to do is, first of all, go to the doctor. Sure. Make sure you don't have a fracture because uh, that's going to be treated a little bit different, particularly after yeah, the swelling goes away. you can fracture your ankle just from turning it. My daughter just went through this. Yep. Yeah, so she didn't fall. She just twisted it. Just twisted uh, it bad, and yeah. she had a fracture. And uh, it, you can it healed up quickly. And for the swelling, you certainly can. We're gonna. I'm gonna recommend that you do the price. P R I C E. Yes. Protect it. And a lot of this is just common sense. So protect it means don't walk on it. Don't right. don't irritate it. Don't make it painful. Don't try and work through the pain. Protect it. Rest it. And when you rest it, you're gonna want to elevate it. Get right. it up on some pillows or on a leg wedge uh, to get it higher than the level of your, level of your heart. So that swelling can come down back into your system. Uh, and then cold packs, of course. Right. You can compress it. I would recommend, for an ankle sprain, I'd probably use some Ace Wrap. Or Comperlin. Comperlin. Comperlin is less stretched. Too. Right. It just costs more. Yeah. Um, for the average person, you know, this will probably work good. You're only going to need it for right. a few days, probably maybe a week. You don't want to do too much stretch. Right, because you don't want to. Yeah, right. you don't want to stretch it real tight. If you go to Bob and Brad uh, for ankle rehab, ankle wrapping uh, from ankle sprains, you'll get some details on that. We're not going to go into it on this video, right. uh, but please go to that, and you'll see all you need to know, know if you uh, have an ankle sprain or swollen from that nature. Now, if you just have swollen, like my mother, her ankles swell. You, you know, she did not sprain her ankles; they're just swollen, and. Uh, and if you like push on it with one finger for a few seconds and then you lit up on it and there's a dent there and it takes a little while for the dent to come out, then it's lymphedema and you address that a little bit differently. I would But again, you need to see the doctor yes. because it's like Brad mentioned, your heart may not be working as well as it should mm -hmm. be and it's not, and because it's not pumping the way it should, it, do, it doesn't take the fluid out of the system as well. Right, so, so it, it kind of pulls, right. gravity pulls it down. Right. Uh, if you have problems with your lymph nodes, uh, people have lymph nodes removed. This is a big problem for them. Uh, there's other issues that have to do with that. So right. make sure you know why you're having. And why you're swelling. Uh, but it's not, you know, don't get too excited. You, right. you may come. Very common. Yeah, you may go to the doctor and they say, uh, you know, it, it's part of, uh, the aging process, there's nothing we can do. Sometimes they can give you some meds to help it out. Uh, one thing I would ask, so if you're at a doctor and he says, well, I'm going to give you some meds, and the doctor does not mention anything about uh, compression garments, ask them if compression garments would be helpful. Um, and we're going to talk about these tuba grips, which sure. are inexpensive, and, boy, we've used them on many, many patients. Yes. Uh, and they, they work well. Use it a lot in the nursing homes. Yep. Exactly. T U B I grip. Yep. Uh, so I'll get into that in a little bit more on some okay. details so you know which ones to get. Uh, as far as if you have 
the swelling and it's not a big problem, you know, you know your heart is okay, you're dealing with that. Uh, one thing that can help get that fluid moving is exercise. Right. Get some motion going, uh, whether it be as simple as doing some ankle pumps. Yeah. Every hour, do 10 to 20 of them, and you can do them even more than that. Uh, going for walks, if you're able to walk uh, safely, go out for a 20, 30-minute walk. Uh, if everything else is fine in your uh, system to do that. Uh, water exercise. Not many people have that available or feel comfortable in the water, but when you're in water, the compression Sure. Aspect of the water I helps. Never thought about that. Yeah, so that you've got the exercise going, plus the compression of the water, you know, four or five feet down helps move that fluid up as well. Do so we want to show the ABCs, Brad? Sure, absolutely. So when you were talking about ankle pumps, you can just go back and forth like this. Yep. But you can also, like Brad likes to say, take a piece of chalk and tie it to your, your well, big toe. And, and visually. Your, visually. <laughs> <laughs> and you are basically going to draw out the alphabet in capital letters. Yep. So that was A, now I'm B, C, D. I, I don't think you crossed the A. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, no. F. The, the idea with the alphabet is it, it forces your ankle to move in all directions. Right. So all the muscle groups have an opportunity to work and help pump that fluid upwards where it needs to go. One thing to keep in mind with, with lymphedema is it's fluid that is just underneath the surface of the skin uh, as opposed to, it's going to be a little different than if you sprain your ankle, but because that fluid is just underneath the surface of the skin, you want to make sure uh, how you wear your socks. And there's something called a tourniquet effect. Right. And, we're, and I'll show you that too, but keep that in mind uh, that the uh, fluid is just under the surface of the skin because it really makes a big difference. Um, what I like to mention to people, Brad, is that the fluid is not going to go out your toes. It's got to go back up into your body, mm -hmm. up into your abdomen right. where it gets processed and then you pee it out. Sure, yep. so, exactly. So you, you can't, if you have a tourniquet effect, Yep. It can stop the fluid from flowing back up into your abdomen. So whether you're wearing socks or using the tuber grips, which we'll get into a little bit, but the tourniquet is when the socks or the tuber grip rolls down like this, and it creates a, a roll like there. Now, if someone has uh, edema and they have this little tourniquet roll after about 20 minutes or longer, and you take that down, you'll see a ring yes. right around the leg. And it'll, it's like an indent, indentation all the way around there. And because that fluid is just under the skin, the lymph cannot, it stops right there. Yep. I mean, you still have blood flow. And it actually can increase the lymph. Then. Right. And, and make the swelling worse. And how many times have, have you seen this, Brad, with somebody who has TED stockings, T-E-D stockings? Yep. And you'll see that line. Yeah, and they'll roll down yep, and, and roll it's down. worse. Uh, you know, you can use, some people use these compression socks, which are, are nice. They're, yeah. uh, they actually squeeze more by the foot and less up yep. here, so that forces the fluid up. But right. these can roll down too. These are made so they don't roll down so easy, the but they still can. The only problem with these, very difficult to put on. They are diff and they're kind of expensive. Yes, um, and difficult to take off. Like yeah, put on. yeah I, I did get some of these from my mother, and she just she didn't have nothing to do with them. They're too hard for her to get yeah. on and off. Um, so, but uh, for a number of people, if you're more mobile and right. you can get things on, on and off your feet, I know Chris, well. the pharmacist, actually wears them every day when he because he stands all yeah, day long, yeah, all day long yeah. standing. Um, and he's in his fifties, right? Uh, usually, people in their twenties, not so much, yeah, uh, unless they're in athletics. Uh, but before we get into more in this. Just using gravity, lying down. Right. Uh, if you're going to lie down, this is a big thing I have with my do, mother. Uh, just a couple of pillows. Yep. Or you can actually use a foam that's made for it. But yeah. I'm going to slide a couple of pillows underneath my ankles. So in your bed, just put a couple of pillows. And, uh, yeah, you know, down. assuming you can sleep, you know, that way. And this, so Bob's feet are up just a few inches, and that's going to be helpful. Uh, com you know, to get that fluid to go right. towards proximal, towards the heart. These even work better yet. They're usually more comfortable, and they get a little bit higher height. And you can do your ankle pumps really easy because your legs are suspended off the end. Yep, 
it's actually so. a perfect time to do the ankle pumps. Right. Um, whether you're lying on the couch or in bed, you can use that. You may not be able to sleep with this all night if you can. And you can't sleep on your side. Right. Yeah. So, so you may you have to start pull with it, out. it. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Uh, beds now. My mom's bed. The feet lift up. You got a button to sure. push, uh, and that's what we're doing with her. Uh, if you're in a recliner, elevate. The, re- the right. feet on the recliner. Right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, my mother refuses to do that. Does she really? She's like a kid again. She <laughs> does what she wants, and so we try to encourage it's her. Payback, Brad. It's I know. Payback. I, I, I was thinking about that. All things you did. <laughs> um, for the tuba grips. Now we mentioned those socks. Wherever I put them, are expensive, hard to get on. These tuba grips. They come in rolls. Yeah, but right? yep. and you cut them off. Yep, exactly. Uh, this you want to. Well, I'm going to say you can go online. It's the cheapest I found them. They're about a dollar a foot. Uh, go to Tuba Grip, and there'll be a section in there. Say how, just type in how to fit Tuba Grip. They'll tell you you measure the girth of the person's ankle. Gotcha. And these are in letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you get the right size. Do they have different compression or not? Yes, they do. Three different levels. I'm glad you asked that. Typically, you're going to want the middle one, sure. 10 to 20 mil- millimeters or of mercury. Or you may ask your doctor. There you go. Exactly. Um, so when you get them on, they should not be real tight. Uh, we mentioned that before. If you can fit two fingers, the rules I, a thumb, I, from Aaron, remember, he, he's, sure. he's the guru in this. Uh, if you can put two fingers in there and it's snug around there, that's good. If you're having a hard time getting there and it's too tight, or if it's just floppy, easy, easy. it's right. going to be not effective. When you put the tuba grip on there, this is a benefit, too, is it's open-toed, which is what you want. If you have uh, the socks, these are socks are okay, but you want to make sure there's no seams in them right. and they fit really smoothly around right. the toes, uh, particularly if you're diabetic. Yeah, you might be more prone to skin break- breakdown with, with uh, lymphedema. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are a little short. This should come up a little bit higher to just below the knee. Sure. Again, don't allow them to go down and tourniquet. Uh, just pull them up. And it's just one of those things you have to check throughout the day. Sure. Uh, boy, there's a lot of little things to think about, That's isn't there, right. Bob, for ankle swelling? That's but, right. Uh, the big thing is elevate exercises, range of motion, uh, and the, the compression socks. Again, I, I think the tuber grip for the money is the best way to go. So your mom wears these all, all day long? Well, she, she's supposed to, she's supposed to. <laughs> but she doesn't always like to wear them. So, uh, but yeah, you should wear them all day long. Um, take them off at night. You know, I, I put her name on there because she lives in a place with other sure. people. But it's nice to put the date on there because we bought her some a while back. You I don't forget. know. Yeah, it's like when yeah. did we get those? I can't remember. Um, and sometimes, this, this like, this is such a Brad thing <laughs> to put the date on there. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm just saying it. it's a Brad thing. It's a good habit, Bob. Yeah, it is. It's one of those habits I'm not, that I'm not pays off. Criticizing it, I'm just saying <laughs> it's not a Bob thing. No, it's not a Bob thing. But like your friend, if he has one leg that's swollen, the right. other's not. Sometimes you may put right and left. Sure. Um, because it changes. He stretched out a little bit on right. the swollen one. Right. I've had some patients that were more complicated that we did have to put right and left. Um, the date, and then we always made sure their name and the date was in the front of the same sure. place because uh, we that had... That lined it up then. Yeah, yeah, so that everything was consistent. Sure. That's for more complicated cases. Yep. Um, so... Our giveaway is oh, yes. the T6, right? So uh, we're giving away our nicest massage gun, the T6. This is uh, our most powerful massage gun, I should say. It is. It's got the the most amplitude. Yep. It's got the highest speed. It's got five speeds. Yep. It's got five different attachments, including a stainless steel yes. one, that, which actually really penetrates. Yeah, that's for those people who really want to get in deep into that muscle tissue and massage it out. You can see it really uh, works well. It's a beast. Now, these guns used to run... Six hundred dollars. Yeah, back in the day, out. five, this six years ago. This is a hundred some dollars. It's and it's a, a top line gun. It is. Yep. We're very so, happy to have our name on it. Go to BobBrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. You can sign up, or you can go to Facebook. Oh, Bob and Brad. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Right up there. Yeah. Very good. Good luck. You could be the big winner, the cornucopia.